Students that are having issues downloading Gmetrics to your computer and getting 2016 on your computer. Also, if you have a Chromebook, they do not allow you to download anything. So you could do everything remotely from Gmetrics. I got you. Here's how we do this. Yes, sir. I know. Sorry, I have my um, newborn with me here. All right. Logged into Gmetrics.net, going into Redeem. You guys are going to have to redeem the access code for our school, which is this, 31482-HSAC, capitals with the dashes are all relevant, 42890. Type this in just exactly as it is. Go to redeem, and you're looking sharp. Now, you have Office 2010, 13, 16. Download the version that you have. Don't worry about it. If you can't download it, and you're a Chromebook person, I got you. You're going to go to Office 2016. Let's say you're in Word. I hope God willing, you're in Excel. You're ready for the license. Ready, ready. But you're not. So you're in Word. Good. Go into Word. Here's what you do. You go to selected response. What they did is because of the pandemic of the coronavirus. But listen, let's look further down the road. Let's say you're remotely learning and there's no pandemic. You could go to selected response and you can go into training mode or testing mode. And you guys are able to actually take the exam without having Office 2016 installed on your computers. The Department of Education for New York City also gave you guys, which is amazing of them, Office 365 free remotely. It's great, but it doesn't work with this software. So you would need to do the selected response exams. All right. That's that. With that said, you're going to take the exams to continue right where you left off. Yes, I'm assessed. I'm doing all of you here, when you guys see the assignment for Microsoft certifications, yeah, you click to view the assignment, but underneath, I'm doing student conferences with all of you. I'm going into my grade book. I am looking at the due dates of all everything you guys have did. So let's go to March 10th, okay? Now check this out. Be ready because this is your student conferences. This is how I do it. This is how I do. I'm going to go into um, gmetrics.net. Let's go into there again, uh, into Gmetrics. Let me open up a new tab. Let me go into Gmetrics.net. As I'm in, I'm going to go under administrator. And listen, there's a system of checks and balances here. I'm logging in as an administrator. And yes, I am going to go into your reports. I'm going to go to test tracking. As you saw in my grade book, I'm going to go from 3, 10, 2020 up to 4, 24, 20. I want to type in a name. Let me do Jennifer. All right. This is what Jennifer has done. She's done an Excel core three practice test and she almost, she's ready to pass it. She's about where she's on the cusp of victory. I'm going to go into here and you know, I'm going to be looking at all of your statistics. I don't want to go too deep into her statistics. You know why? Because that's her business. However, she's going to self-assess herself, and she is going to pass this exam, and I will help her. By the way, let's say I don't see any exams here. Not good. You guys have to have exams completed. I am requiring six exams for Excel, eight exams for Word and PowerPoint if you're in that tier. Here is where you go to get into the exams, and you guys have to follow directions for this video. This is seamless. I expect all of you to have this done.